Right, welcome to video number two. So this is where we kind of where we left off. The only thing I've done now is, I mean, obviously it was already painted. I just did the trim that you can see the trim there. All the way up and around. I'm not done with the very edge, but so you can see the trim going all the way up and down. This trim is gonna be painted the same color as that. And this trim here be painted a little darker, like that color darker. See it there. Here's where I added the light. This side. I might have to scoot the light out and put something a little thicker because the trim is not going to look good around that. I think I need to put the trim underneath the light. So I'll have to remove it and then reinstall it. Here's the inside. Sheet rocks in. The Sheet rocks in there. Left a little too much of a gap there. I have to fix that. All right, the window trim is done. Just needs to be painted. This side is a little tricky, but I was able to put some on the bottom and a little bit on top just to kind of take up space and hold the light in well. I'm taking a little break here. <laughs> this is Inti, hairless dog. He's always sitting on Miklo. I guess it's too rough for him to sit or lay down on the concrete so he always sits on my other dog he don't care okay so the she rock is in except for that one piece the shelf is made I could not find a shelf that was rounded and this long, like 15 inches wide. So I had to make my own. I bought a regular piece of pine wood and then sanded the whole edge out so it's nice and round and smooth all the way across. Then I also cut out this um, accent piece here. It goes right there. Okay. We're about to start painting the trim. I did the silicone and waterproof the whole edge around. And I did the whole side also where the trim touches the brick. On both sides. so I started painting the trim but I might have used the wrong type of silicone because it's not letting the paint stick I already painted over this like 20 times it just won't let the paint stick where see even on the parts where I screwed the trim in it's still you can see a little whiteness on there so I might have to buy some different type of silicone and kind of cover all the other silicone up, see if I can get some painted, or maybe find some strong primer, something, to get it painted over. Okay, so this is the edge uh, trim you put on sheetrock. This is the kind I use. I have three different types of these. So you just cut it with scissors, nail it with little nails, and See a little nail right there? Just kind of let it give you a straight edge all the way around. And there's the one that's going to go on this side. It's so dark in here. Right up 
about there and just start nailing in. Um, I already kind of know where the stud is, so you know, I'll put a nail there, I'll put a nail there, I'll put a nail there. And then do a few nails on this side also. So now the trim is all done. Corner edge all nailed in. All right. So now it's time to plaster some joint compound. Um, I'm just going to mash it up against here all the way around on all the joints also. All the way up. Not so much on this corner because it has going to have a little bit of trim there. But on all those and on every single one of these screws. And then we'll sand it all down. So this is the uh, grout part, joint compound. <clears throat> Just finished putting it on, but I still need to sand it and then obviously paint it. Okay, so here's the idea of kind of what it looks like finished. Now the trim is a little dark. It um, should be a little lighter, a little less chocolate, a little more brown. So I might have to redo that part, but that's pretty much it on the outside. Alright, so I did all the grout work. And now I'm sanding it all down. I try to sand it as clean, as smooth as possible. What I did is I bought this like sanding block. Easiest way to do it. Um, it does take a lot of time and effort to kind of sand everything straight. And there's always gonna be little bitty bumps. I mean, you see this right here? That needs to be like that. Not sanded sand it down, okay? Okay, I'm gonna try some of this uh, Homax wall texture, orange peel. It says it goes on blue and it kind of dries white. And it should, it's supposed to give the wall an effect kind of like that. If you see this is very, kind of like the orange peel texture and this is very smooth. So you kind of want to blend it in. So we'll see how that it does. Okay, so it's not bad. A little texture, but it doesn't last very long. Start doing a little bit of this, see? Kind of blends it all in, um, but it doesn't last very long. I was barely able to do that section, top section, and this inside and out section. And when I started doing the actual ceiling part here, <laughs> very little was left. Take a little break now to give a little snack to the dogs. Wait, wait. Chance. Oh. Micro, catch. Not to get the window dirty with that spray, texture spray. I used a piece of cardboard, just on freehand, and kind of sprayed, sprayed, sprayed all the way up. Put it on the edge there and sprayed there. And on the right side, I had my wife help me because I couldn't, I can't, I'm not left-handed, so it's kind of harder to spray and hold with the other hand. And same thing on tight, just want to make sure it doesn't hit window. I mean, I'm sure it comes off, but I'd rather not. Alright, so that's pretty much it. See the curtain there? That is it. 